final part of our session today is again the motivation tidbits from your master salespreneur. Let's talk about the five winning traits of a salespreneur. Kasi araw-araw nakikita natin yung success na nangyayari dito sa Green Circle Realty. Araw-araw nakikita natin yung bentang pumapasok. So ibig sabihin, merong kakaibang traits yung mga top notchers natin no? na ginagamit para maging successful as salespreneur. Hindi ito talaga galing sa libro, hindi galing kung saan paman. All the things that I will share with you today ay resulta ng mga experiences natin dito, experiences ng no mga successful people natin right here at Green Circle Realty. Saan pa ba tayo kukuha ng inspiration? Saan pa ba tayo kukuha ng tips? Kung hindi mismo, dun sa mga successful colleagues natin or partners dito sa ating kumpanya, Green Circle Realty, which has been the training ground of successful and top-earning real estate salespreneurs for the past 16 years. Kaya simulan natin yung uh, first uh, winning trait na dapat lahat ng salespreneur natin ay magkaroon. Of course, nangunguna sa aking listahan, dapat opportunity driven ka. Ibig sabihin, you are able to see and capture opportunities at the right time, at the right place with the right people, and of course, with the right mindset. But kapahanap sa iba? E nandito na yung opportunity. Like for instance, anong opportunity na napakalinaw dito? Crystal clear. Malinaw pa sa isang bagong umaga, sabi nga. We have a 34 billion opportunity in terms of inventory. Imagine, kung ika-capture natin yung opportunity to match the people who are looking for a home to our 34 billion inventory. Lancaster Estate man yan, o kaya Mikara Estate. I-capture lang natin yung opportunity to be the matchmaker of a potential buyer na talagang nangangarap magkaroon ng sariling bahay. Itapat mo lang sa tamang model unit na available naman natin sa inventaryo natin, bakit naman hindi ka magkakaroon ng sariling uh, client listahan ng kliyente na magiging source ng iyong income at talagang unlimited income opportunity katulad ng ginagawa ng ating mga successful salespreneurs. And your opportunity to use the technology is one opportunity that you should not miss but in fact, you must maximize to the most of it. So, yun yung mga opportunities na available dito sa atin. Di ba? Lagi natin sinasabi sa Green Circle, everyday is opportunity day. And one of our most effective success formula is the OPS formula. Opportunity plus preparation will always lead you to success. This is something that we have to remember, ladies and gentlemen. To our sales partners in Green Circle Realty, our success is always the result of our ability to see and capture opportunities at the right time. Our income is always dependent on the opportunities we take advantage of. Ulitin ko, every day is opportunity day, pero yung success mo as a salespreneur depende on what opportunities you create, what opportunities you spot, and what opportunities you take advantage of. Number two, of course, favorito nating lahat to. Sa Green Circle, we are trained to be network builders. Anong ibig sabihin nito ng network builder? Diba saan sabi natin sa Green Circle Realty, if you are not networking, you are not working. Let's simply take the example of our successful salespreneurs. Alam natin lahat ng maraming benta dito ay magaling sa proper, effective, successful networking. They do not do it alone. Regardless if you are a sales director, sales manager, or sales associate, it's all about working it out with so many people around you. People support is very important to succeed in salespreneurship to succeed in real estate selling, kailangan natin ng maraming kasangga, maraming ka-partners, maraming tumutulong o sumusuporta sa atin. Di ba, lagi natin sinasabi, huwag kayo mapagod. The three secrets in 
uh, selling so many properties dito. Talk to people. Talk to people. Talk to people. Either you do it online or you do it offline. Basta importante, talk to as many people as possible. Diba? Lagi dapat ang mindset natin. Everyone is a prospect. Directly or indirectly. Ngayon, as we go along, pag-aralan natin yung hindi lang yung network building. Eventually, dapat matuto tayong magkaroon ng tinatawag na network empowering and eventually network influencing. Yes, kailangan natin ng numbers game, pero out of the numbers, kailangan natin ng katulong, ka-partner. Because dapat yung ka-partners mo, hindi lang marami, dapat empowered, well-educated, para matulungan kanila ng mas effective. At the same time, eto importante, network is all about influence din. Yung contacts mo, may influence ka sa kanila. Either may influence ka sa kanilang bibili sila sa iyo, o may influence ka sa kanilang mag-refer sila sa iyo because ang ganda ng iyong relationship, ang ganda rin ng iyong reputation sa kanila. Di ba? Dalawa yan eh. We anchor our success based on our relationship and reputation to the people we work with. So, yun yung sinasabi nating network building, network empowering, network influencing. I can assure you, based on the results that we're seeing, a powerful network will make you go on top and better stay on top of the game crisis or no crisis that explains bakit may nakakabenta sa atin ngayong mga sales associates bago o luma 10 million lang in expect nating excellence level na pero nagbebenta ng 12 15 17 or 20 or 30 million sales associate imagine that opportunity they captured simply because they decided to be network builders Mali po yung konseptong, ahente lang ako, dapat mag-isa lang ako. Hindi naman ako sales manager, hindi naman ako sales director. Hindi po totoo yun. Kahit sales associate kayo, if you want to be the most successful and top earning, create an empire. So that is the second winning trait, network builder. Ano yung third? Financially savvy. One of the traits of a very successful salespreneur dito. Pwede na rin natin i-define na financially literate. Ano ba yung financially literate? O ano bang financial literacy? Financial literacy, we always define it as our ability to manage our financial resources so that we can grow uh, and prosper financially. Siyempre, pangarap natin sa lahat ng mga taga Green Circle Realty ay maging financially free and financially abundant. Pero paano mangyayari doon? dapat marunong tayong humawak ng ating pera at sabi ng financial literacy, wala naman sa laki o liit ng perang hawak natin ang ating ikayaman in the future kundi sa abilidad natin o husay na hawakan anuman yung halaga na meron tayo ngayon. Malakimangan o maliit, nasa ating paghawak yon Magsaga muna tayo magtrabaho dun sa pwedeng magbigay sa atin ng kita. So, pag wala pa tayong kapital, di ba, Pwede tayong gumamit ng KKK, pwede tayong humingi ng referrals, pwede tayong gumamit ng free Facebook ads muna. Challenge sa iyo ngayon yan. Pwede kang magpaturo sa iyong sales manager o sa iyong sales director because tayo nga ay salespreneur dito. Tayo ay negosyente dito, hindi tayo ordinary yung ahente. So, kung 1,000 or 5,000, saan makakatulong sa iyan? Anong may itutulong niya sa pagkakaroon mo ng benta? Kung nakakatanggap ka naman na ng komisyon, may first time kang benta, komisyon ka na, paano mo imamanage yung komisyon na kinikita mo? Gagastusin mo namang buo kasi reward mo sa sarili mo? O yung tinuturo natin na when you start getting commissions, you can start rewarding yourself, but you can also put something on your savings or emergency fund, but make sure you put something to make your business continuously operating. Kaya kahit papano, nakakapaglaan ka na para alam mo as a negosyante o negosyente 
alam mo patakbo yung negosyo mo rito sa Green Circle Realty. Hindi ka tirek. So either you are a beginner or you are an old timer. Financial management ay importante siya. Anong mga activities ang gagawin mo? Kung magkano man yung perang hawak mo. Di ba? Naririnig na natin ng mga nakaraan. Lahat ng mga successful sabi niya, Sir, dito kailangan din tayo mag-invest. Pero siyempre, yung investment depende kung anong meron ka ngayon. You can invest less habang bago ka. Pero that can be the start of something great. You can invest more kung meron ka ng puhunan kesa mag-invest ka sa ibang negosyo. But hindi pa dito, e eh, mas mabilis yung resulta pag alam mong uh, gawin talaga yung tamang strategy o tamang activity. That is the mark of a good salespreneur. Ano yung libre na strategy? Ano yung pwede mong bayaran? Kasi meron ka man kahit pa paano nila na budget para ang resulta mo ay very productive and very positive for your business. And number four, one of the five winning traits of a salespreneur is of course being service-oriented. Always make your service available and easy to remember to the many people you meet, either they are your buyers or non-buyers. Wala ngayon. Dapat makilaala kayo na pagdating sa serbisyo, kayo ang numero uno. Buyer man yan o hindi, na kayo ay isang service-oriented real estate salespreneur. Always present yourself as a real estate expert. Ikaw sa Green Circle, dapat maiba ka. You should be a service-oriented salespreneur that they would always want to talk to, that they would always want to consult you anytime they want something about real estate. Again, nagsisimula yan sa iyong relationship, sa iyong reputation, either online or offline. At doon, mag-expect ka na lang ng mga tawag, ng mga messages because you will already establish yourself as a service-oriented salespreneur. Make sure all your buyers will be happy with your service. Yung from beginning up to ngayon na nag amortize sila, mag-inspect sila ng unit sila, hanggang sa turnover unit sila, hanggang sa nakatira na sila doon, don't cut the relationship. Diba lagi natin sinasabi sa four pillars of salespreneurship, dapat yung harmonious, beautiful, pleasant relationship will continue hanggang sa maging personal friends na sila so that whenever they want to do buy again or to give referrals, ikaw yung top of the mind nila because you never cut your relationships at yung service mo, sabi nga nila, par excellence. Ayaw kong sinasabi, to succeed in sales, you have to stop selling but you have to start serving and helping. Hindi natin priority isipin yung komisyon isipin natin yung ating mission. Kaya nga tinawag yan na commission because you are in commission with your clients in realizing their dream home. Pag yun ang nasa puso natin, matulungan natin yung kliyente natin na matupad yung pangarap, maging masaya sila ng kanilang pamilya sa bahay na bibilin sa atin, ang kapalit nun, mas marami pang benta through their referrals and through their repeat sales. Imagine kung lahat ang gagawin natin, ganun sa kliyente natin, yung customer experience ay laging wow, sigurado aapaw yung benta sa ating lahat. So, wag niyong unayin yung, yung komisyon lagi. Eh, dahil ang aabutin natin, like kung sinasabi ito, baka konsumisyon. Mission will lead you to commission. So, do your best service to your clients and the universe will do the rest for you. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, ito, the most exciting among the traits na isang successful salespreneur, itong number five. You have to think big time. Ayan, katulad ng mga successful natin, kaya marami silang benta, everything starts with the mind. They have big dreams. Diba? They have big goals. They have huge ambitions. Diba sabi natin sa Green Circle Realty, to think is to create. What we visualize, we will simply realize. What we always think about, 
we will eventually become those things. Libre naman ang mangarap. Bakit mo titipirin? Wala namang tax ang mangarap ng malaki. Ba't hindi mo palakin yung pangarap mo? Eh, ang katuparan naman yan, nasa iyo lang, nasa iyong mga partners, at nasa iyong strategy. Walang naglilimit sa iyo. Yung mind lang ang nagbibigay ng limitation sa iyo. Eh, ikaw may ari ng mind mo, why not expand your dreams, your ambitions, your goals? Why earn less when you can earn more? Itong palagi nating clincher. Why go small time when you can go big time in this opportunity-based job natin sa Green Circle Realty where opportunity, kung tawagin natin, sky's the limit. 34 billion worth of inventory. 1 billion pesos. Ikaw lang mamimili ngayon. Gaano kalaki ang slice of that 1 billion pesos ang gusto mong mapa sa kamay mo, eh you have all the freedom to do it by just following all these five winning trades of a salespreneur. Why go small time when you can go big time? Kaya sana, in today's session, lahat ng nandito ngayon, makumbinsin namin kayo na mangharap ng malaki. Gamitin ninyo lahat ng opportunities na nandito. Mag-build kayo ng network na meron kayong influence. Manage your resources. Always think of the best service that you can offer to your client. There's no reason that you cannot become not just the top seller, but also the top earner, and in general, the most successful green circle real estate salespreneur in the future. That is our dream for everyone. Nandito na rin lang tayo. Nakakaharap na natin yung opportunity. Why not take advantage in capturing all these opportunities? After all, success is a matter of choice. We always have the choice to become successful every day as we go through our salespreneurship journey. Again, I'm inviting everyone to just remember these five winning traits of a salespreneur. You can be the next successful Green Circle real estate sales rock stars. With that, ladies and gentlemen, again, I wish you all the best. See you at the top. Thank you.